Well, this is Dr. Scott Geller. It is the beginning of August, 2023, post COVID. I have a great patient here, a retired dentist from South Carolina who moved to this lovely, but getting more crowded area of Florida. Now the history is he had a bilateral cataract surgery, uh, very well done up in South Carolina. Uh, at some point he developed haze behind the implant. We call that uh, clouding of the so-called posterior capsule. The doctors up there did a, what's called a capsulotomy with a laser beam in each eye that sharpened up your vision with the multifocal implants, which you are happy with, but it caused another problem. And I don't think this is always recognized by ophthalmologists or they just, you know, give it lip service. You had a sort of rolled up ball of the capsule that persisted in your visual axis. And it was just below the visual axis. So every time you look down more or less, this, this opacity came dead center. Yes. And with the pupil of the eye small, you know, three millimeters or normal thing, that little ball actually took up a large percentage of the area and blurred the vision. And this was in both eyes. Correct. And you put up with that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. You saw a, a, one of the optometrists at a very prominent eye surgeon's office here. Uh, he does good work, but uh, he, he didn't examine you, did he? No. Okay. The, the, his optometrist did. And she told you that the only thing was to either get used to it or have a vitrectomy, correct? Yes. And you held off on having a vitrectomy. How long ago was that that you actually saw her? Well, of course, I see her annually, but it's probably been three years. Oh, three years, and she's been telling you that yeah. nothing could be done. Well, they told me at first to, to wait. It, it'd probably clear up on its own. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's not going in three months, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, so, so three years, and she does know that we do this here. Uh, I think, unfortunately, many offices are afraid of losing a patient. All they had to do was send you over and you'd be back to them. But uh, I usually tell patients that it takes more than one laser session because there's a limit to the amount of laser that you want to do. Uh, you want to avoid uh, one of the problems which can be high pressure inside the eye, which in over 50% of the cases spontaneously goes down but we don't want to see any kind of problems. So it usually takes more than one time. However, in your case, I did one session on the right eye and one session on the left eye, and it's pretty much 100% gone, except for you see a little little residual particle, you say, on the right side? Rarely. Rarely, rarely, okay. Well, if it becomes really annoying, I certainly can get it with laser, but you're the best type of patient. You've uh, I don't. I can't say it's you know major suffering. It's not like you have leprosy or something, but uh, <laughs> but uh, it's it was a major annoyance for you. And you saw some article about me doing this, yeah. and said this is my guy. I we are your guy. And I love doing this stuff. It's it's very satisfying to me. It's it's like a uh, the ultimate video game, looking through a microscope and shooting a laser at a real versus a virtual object. Maybe I should do a VR game and have uh, laser beam shooting floaters. That could be interesting. <laughs> it might be possible. Uh, I've always wanted to do, do the videos I do in 3D, but I'm going to try to post a video on this uh, little interview that we have here to show people what this looked like. But it's, it's, it's easy if you know how to do it right. If you don't know how to do it right, you're just, you know, it's like shooting ducks. If you have a shotgun and you're looking at a duck, try to get it sometime. If you don't know how to do it right, you'll never get the duck. The duck is smarter than you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, you're a great patient. Uh, I hope this helps other people that might have similar problems. And they're certainly welcome to come down to lovely Fort Myers. Uh, it's great down here, but it's getting too crowded with people. And there's not too much country left to escape to. So thank you for being a great patient. Well, I, I thank you so much. It, it, it has been so easy, and the, and the results have been absolutely remarkable. And uh, I would certainly recommend you to highly to anybody. Thank you.